Developing tonight, a grieving family is speaking up after their loved one was killed following a high speed chase. She was an innocent bystander who just happened to be caught in that chaos. That chase happened in July, twisted its way through two southeast Texas counties before ending in Vider. 12 News reporter Dominique Lay is with us live tonight with the questions a grieving son is now asking. Jordan, I'm on FM 1131 Road in Vider, where a high speed chase that started in Jasper County made its way into Orange County and ended here, leaving one person arrested and one person dead. 58 year old Lori Betsy Husson lost her life. I find myself trying to call her again because she was my uh, my road buddy. Chad Blackburn has been questioning his mother's death for months. Lori Betsy Husson was killed in a crash back in July. The truck that crashed into her was stolen and police were falling behind in pursuit of the driver. Why wasn't there more communication between the counties when this was going on? Why, why did it take a fatality to end it? Here's what we know about the chase. It started in Jasper County. Deputies say Kay Davis was in a stolen truck and took off trying to get away from police. Deputies followed Davis all the way into Orange County. And it was ultimately the crash that stopped Davis, leading to an arrest. Why wasn't something done? Why didn't they block the road off? Why didn't they put out strips to, to knock his tires out? Why? Jasper County Lieutenant Investigator James Payne believes the deputy in pursuit handled the situation accordingly, saying the deputy began to back off about a minute before the crash. When he, when he felt that it was coming to a, a very more dangerous situation, he just started backing off. And that's, that's all you can really ask an officer to do is make that determination. A U.S. Department of Justice study found from 1996 to 2015, an average of 355 people were killed annually in pursuit-related crashes. That's about one per day. A third of those deaths were innocent bystanders. Blackburn wants people to know his mom is more than just a statistic. Everything about her is going to be deeply missed. And it's, I'm getting choked up talking about it because I really miss her. Blackburn told me that he fully supports law enforcement and he understands that they have a job to do. He appreciates them reaching out and consoling him and his family, but it still doesn't take away the fact that him and his siblings are left without a mother. Inviter, Dominique Lay, 12 News.